That's right, the boys are back in town, and the Alternative Commentary Collective is back on Spark Sport for all Black Cats home matches this summer. Download the Spark Sport app or sign up at sparksport.co.nz to stream every home Black Caps match with the ACC Commentary today. Biggest, 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 a lot better now. How are you? Yeah, yeah, good, thanks, mate. Very well. Yeah. You were saying off here just before uh, that when you're, because you're staying at your mother-in-law's at the yeah. moment, that when you have your breakfast in the morning, the cockatiel, Mike, uh, when he's having his breakfast in the breakfast area there, just screams its head off. Oh, yeah. And he was wanting our advice a little bit later on in the show. Oh, about, yeah, a bit of pitch here. Yeah, a bit of pitch here, how we could yeah. actually help him out. Yeah, we're going to help with that. Shut the damn thing up. Yeah, and just on that, if you uh, need any advice around your pets, any pet chat, you can uh, text us on 3483 or hit us up in our DMs on the old Hodaki Big Show Instagram, mate. Yeah, totally, yeah. mate. When I think about it, actually, we haven't had a bit of pet chat in a little while. It's been a while. Hey, but as always, at this time of the day, we love to know where you're listening to the show and most importantly to the finest detail down to the finest stitch tell us what you're wearing on 3483 and let's kick off with a bit of the old stone temple pilots the hodaki big show podcast Oh yes indeed, Stone Temple Pilots here on the radio, Hodaki Big Show this Thursday afternoon, 7 minutes past 4 o'clock. What are the people saying on 3483, fellas? Afternoon, you legends. Paula here from the hot as F Hawks Bay wearing F all. How about that? Who was that from, Paula? That's from Paula, and she's wondering if uh, we can answer a question for her. How can I stop my chickens from shatting inside the house? So we'll get to that in pet chat. Yeah, totally. Generally, I would say that was more of your um, livestock chat. Yes. But given the fact that the chickens are inside the house, it feels like feels like pet chat to I, me. I genuinely had a similar problem with the ducks around my house. They oh, just yeah. wander into the house and shit everywhere. Ugh. Yeah, and you know what a duck poo is like. It's I, not a pleasant thing, Monique. No, it's not good. Uh, John from MD Decorators here, painting walls in my fishnet singlet and leggings. Do you do leggings? Do I do them? Yeah. Nah. Quite a few dudes do, I noticed. Do dudes. You know, well, you know, like at the gym, the kind of mm. oh. tight sort of leg yeah. and stuff. I mean, can you imagine what my legs would the look like in leggings? The circulation, eh, for the circulation. Yeah, yeah. It's maybe. like, what was happening before? Like, what was happening before with your circulation, circulation that was so bad that it needed improving? Were yeah. people dropping dead from circulation issues at the gym? I don't think they were. I, I don't think they were. I think... I tried them once, actually. I tried some leggings. That would have been funny. Yeah, because you can imagine my like my withered tiny withered legs and massive testicles. Yeah. So it was a really incongruous sight. <laughs> yeah. And the old snake down the side there. Yeah. And, you know, and, and I used to notice that people would just sort of stop in their tracks and just check me out. Yeah. I mean, well, forget, forget moose knuckle. This was, this was dinosaur knee. I think that's the thing with it is um, it feels like that's what it's for, isn't it? For showing off what you got. It's yeah, got nothing totally. to do with sort of improving your health or your bloodstream flow or any of that, I don't think. Yeah, nah. Would that be right? Yeah, I, I agree with you, mate. Yeah. Any other texts here, Pugs? Brandon here, lads, cruising around in me truck in Kitapehe, sporting me whole high-vis work gear apart from me underwear and me socks after a shat incident uh, they were needed for clean-up. Cheers. Yeah, great stuff. You know what I'm thinking, Minogi? Mm. It's only a matter of time before when we ask that question, people are going to be saying, I'm in my backbone t-shirt. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what 
I'm saying you can still order those, by the way. There's a new shipment coming in. There is. There I'll tell is. you what, mate, can I just tell you, I, I had a voiceover today, and it's just something that gets deep inside my goat. Yeah. Uh, and I've found it more and more prevalent in, in the work that I do. You enter a building now, and they've got those little computers here, and you have to enter your details. Name. Name, company. Email, you know, email, phone number, cell phone number, who home you address, and stuff. who you visiting in the building. Yeah, exactly. Who is your contact? It's like, yeah. for God's sake, I've just come to do a 10 minute voiceover. I don't need to tell you my goddamn life story. Yeah. You know, and then there's always some sort of issue with, you know, oh, sorry, the, the printer's having a bit of an issue printing out your name tag. I don't need, I don't a, name need a name tag. Don't you know who I am? Seriously, man, it does my head in. Yeah. Unnecessary admin. Sorry, man, I just needed to get that off my chest. All good, man, all good. Do you agree with me, though? Ah, yeah, I mean, I do. And then they ask if you want to be, if you know, if there's an emergency, will you need to be escorted from the building? Yes, I will. Yes. Yes. I tell you what, I've been caught in that many buildings that have been burning down. They've promised me an escort and nobody turns up. And let me tell you this, to add to that, if you don't don't escort me out of the building, I'll sue the arse off you. You've got my details. Oh, I feel better now. Thanks, fellas. Hey. I I believe coming up, I'm in Nogi, a bit of a romantic incident. I did, actually. It was real good. We'll get into that next after the experiment. eh? Tell me what. The Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Yes, indeed, the exponents here on the radio, Hodaki Big Show, this uh, Thursday afternoon, 13 minutes past four o'clock, and a blustery day up here in the city of Sales. Uh, by the way, if you need to know what's going on with the weather or anything, you can text us at any time on 3483. It's raining. Yeah. Well, it's about to rain for two weeks. We're, we uh, were going, planning to go away for the weekend, I know you are, and my wife's just texted me, read the weather and gone, do we even bother now? Well, this is a thing, mate. I mean, there's, um, there's actually something online there because the weather's going to be so bad up north, it says delay any holiday plans. They're actually looking at closing the Auckland Harbour Bridge, which doesn't bother me because that's not the way I was going. No, is it really that bad? Well, that's that's what I'm reading. Uh, I know, man. And this is a thing, mate. I mean, you slog your guts out every day. You deserve better than this, man. So do you, We've mate. been back for two bloody weeks. Yeah. Need a holiday, mate, man. I, I'm rooted. Yeah. You've I, seen me, pugs. I'm rooted, man. I had to carry you down to your car last night. Oh. Uh, mate. I was that drunk. You know, you were off your tats. Yeah, and I know. I, come on, Mogi. Got the, you know, got underneath you there and got you to the car. It was all good. Unbelievable, man. So I don't know what I'm going to do, actually. It's like um, it's our last opportunity uh, to get over to the island. Or well, actually second to last. Yeah. But I haven't been over for ages. And so, um, oh, I mean, look, there's bigger problems in the world, but I don't know what they are. Yeah, well, just just from my point of view, and I don't want to, you know, crap on them, because I know, as you I say... I wish you would crap on, I, I, man. I know that, you, as you say, there's mu- people have got much bigger issues than me. You know, Bullshit. I've, I've got my family batch home that I'm... I you know, know. That I've been... Freehold. Yeah, freehold. freehold. Yeah, and it's a coastal property. It's right oh, on yeah, the beach there. it's right on there. the water. It's right on the water. It's beautiful. You were saying off here, the ocean makes a bloody racket when oh. you're trying to go to sleep, man. Yeah, and the seagulls and the oh, seals and that. Christ. Hey, and, but we didn't get to go there all summer long, the Nogue. Right, and yeah. so we've, and and it's been booked out from next weekend onwards for forever. Yeah, so Airbnb, is, thousand bucks a night. Yeah, well, fifteen hundred. So you know what I mean? It's like this is our last <sighs> actual opportunity to actually go and have a well-deserved break. break. You know, you've just had a month off. That oh. was bloody exhausting with all the rain and that. It oh, was stressful, man. Do you know what it's like living with your family for a month? Of course I do. When I hate the, it when they're there, mate. I know when they're there, twenty four seven. Oh, mate, it does my head. Uh, it really gets inside my goat. Right in my goat. Now we were going to get into something else here, but we got do a little bit way. Like, we'll do it next, eh? Uh, in the meantime, uh, we'll crack into a bit of. Ye old eyes to the front pugs. God, audio slave. The Hodaki Big Show podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. The killer's there on the Radio Hodaki uh, Big Show this Thursday afternoon, 24 minutes past four o'clock. I feel like we've got a lot off our chest. The Savo uh, Minogi. Chests. 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 Thank you. Moves. Yeah, no, I'd agree with that. A couple of chests. Yeah. There. Um, 
I had a good one last night, actually, just on the DL. Sweet. Um, watching a bit mate, of TV. I, what? Before you even start, goes no further than the studio, yeah, mate. good on you, mate. Yeah. Um, you recording this, Pugs? No. Good. You're catching uh, on, Pugs. And, yeah. I was sitting there watching TV with the missus last night. I won't tell you what because we're going to talk about it later and um, what's on the tally with Mike Minogue. It's a segment we do um, sort of around about half six there. Good segment. If, if you've never caught it. that, by the way, make sure you stay tuned because she's a doozy. She's a ripper. Anyway, sitting there with the old missus there on the old couch there and I just thought I'd lean over and just give her a, one of me hugs that I can give. Quite a good hugger. And as I was reaching around, not that reach around, Pugs. Yeah, you yeah. Filthy oh, Phil, You're come a on. Pig, man. Pugs, you please. said it. Disgusting. Sorry. Eyes to the front. And uh, I reached around uh, across the front of my wife, in between, if you can imagine, the television and her face. Yes. She's seen the hand coming across. I'm sitting to her right. She's to my left there. Yes. I'm going around with my right hand. On, my intention is to have a hug. As she's seen the hand come across me, quick as a flash, she's given me a high five. The old high five there. I don't think my wife's ever given me a high five. I've certainly never asked for one. Right. What stage of the relationship is the high five? As I, because you... Got in touch with me last night about this. I did. I thought I've got to chuck that in the old document. Yeah, and I, as I put it, um, for me, she's downhill from there, mate. Yeah, you're saying that. Um, you know, when you show signs of a thing, I do the same thing. I just sort of, like my wife will be cooking at the stove there and I'll sort of nudge up against her uh. and just sort of... Rub my head up and down her. You're saying your favourite way to show her affection is to get her in a headlock <laughs> and rub your knuckles across her hair, yeah. her head there. A yeah, noogie, yeah. I think they call it yeah, a noogie. noogie. Yeah, there you yeah, go, yeah. noogie, 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 noogie. Oh, I love you, I love you, I love you. Um, yeah. 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 And she says that she doesn't like it. No, well, she's got a little bald patch there because I was. <laughs> doing it so often you know what i'm saying and uh, but i'll just do the sort of head nudge yeah. imagine if you will a horse on a post yeah 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 or a cat or a on cat on a leg yeah 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 just sort of and she'll kind of sigh and just just, gen- just sort of oh. yeah. you're saying when she cooks your dinner and that and she puts it on the table mm-hmm. you call her a good bastard and give her a dead arm Yeah, it's, uh, she is a good bastard oh, too. Yeah, she's a top you, man. She, she's a top. Yeah. She's great. But uh, no, and getting back to your wife there, uh, your lovely wife. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, if you're wanting to give your partner a cuddle, there, pugs, or mm. initiate a bit of a bit of the old dear. What do you do, mate? Do you just come out with it, or do you do a Minogi high five or a hoity nuzzle? You know, like the. It's sort of like when you're dapping your bro up. You do the side high five and then the oh, old pat yeah. on the back. Oh, yeah. You bring it in. You haven't been in your relationship long either, Amy. Yeah, yeah. Nah, not nah. that long. Yeah, yeah. Not much longer either by the sounds of it, Pugs. You don't reckon? The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogan, Keezy. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Yo, got to love a bit of Nick Cave, don't you? Which yeah. bit? Oh, the sort of chimey belly bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a good bit. Yeah, I love that bit. Hey, hey, <laughs> fellas, check this out. Three mates to Memphis. What do I mean when I say that? We're kicking off 2023 with an epic prize trip for you and two mates. We've got your chance to get in the draw for a trip to the birthplace of rock and roll Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> Not bad, all right. You'll get flights for three thanks to American Airlines. And you were promising like a barrel loop and they're going to do a run down mm, yeah, Beale Street yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, check this out. Accommodation. So, like, they pay for your accommodation, like, with beds and stuff. 
Uh, and be treated like royals with a full Memphis experience, including a visit to Sun Studio in Graceland. Right. And, of course, partying up and down the legendary Beale Street, Memphis, home of rock and roll, soul and blues, and get a bit of poof action as well. Poof, 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 poof. Yeah, poof, a bit poof, of basketball, poof. mate. Uh, now, yeah, yeah. Now, right, right, right. right. Hey, if, that isn't, if that isn't a slam dunk, I don't know what I it know is, what mate. Done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, slam mate. dunk. Yeah, and yeah, of course, yeah. the... Um, the etymology of the word Memphis, you know about that, uh, comes from the Greek menifer, meaning enduring and beautiful, mate. How about that? That's so good, man. Enduring right. and beautiful. How about that? Well, yeah. Hey. Sounds even better. Hey, how how is this even possible, pugs? I'll tell you. It's all thanks to American Airlines. Oh, you man. Now, they're the network that takes you more places. Sure are, mate. Sure are. Now, listen, if you want to get in the draw for that, all you need to do is give us a call right now on 0800 Hodaki, and we'll get into that after a bit of Lincoln Park. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Radio Hodaki's three mates to Memphis. You and two mates off to the home of rock and roll. Thanks to American Airlines, time to put another person in the draw. Brendan, you mad bastard. How's life, mate? Good, mate. Good, mate. Good. How are you, you mad yeah. bastard? Yeah, good. Thanks, Brendan. Hey, uh, listen, man, where are you calling from? Well, mate, I have you know, um, I'm just at Market market Road tonight. I'm a little country boy. Yeah. And yeah. I'm stuck in this bloody traffic. And yeah. It's driving me insane. Yeah. yeah. Oh. But where do you... Oh. Yeah, I, you're, you're from a, Australia, aren't you? Yeah, you? Are you Australian there, Brendan? No, I'm a Kiwi. No, no good, on you, good. good on you, mate. Good on you, mate. Good, good, good. Hey, I understand. Are you from Nazi, you were saying? Yeah, boy. Beautiful yep. spot, that, mate. Beautiful. Big population, about 1,400 people, mate. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah nice. You work your way through half of them, have you? Oh, now, no. I've been hooked up to say Mississippi since I was about 17, 18 years old, mate. So, no. What are you now? No. 20. <laughs> Oh, I wish. <laughs> I wish you, baby. <laughs> hey, uh, Brendan, were you so lucky as to win this prize, mate? Who would you take to Memphis with you? you got two choices. Oh, mate, that's a tough one. Um, I'd say I'd like I'd have to probably take the uh, the missus. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I tell you what, I'll give you the tip. You'd be bloody good boys trip. Oh yeah, so, yeah she would yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, would yeah, be. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Or you could just send the missus and two of her mates, and you and you, you and your mates stay home. Few yeah. beers, yeah. <laughs> beautiful win win. Totally, you could. Eh? I yeah. never thought of it like well, that. Well, you'd look like a saint. Yes, you look really like a self yeah, serving. Yeah. You don't have to I go for the flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah massive for, for yeah. years, Brendan. Yeah, well, I yeah. tell you what, mate. The good news for you is you're in the draw. So good luck with that, man. Oh, beautiful. beautiful. No worries. You stand in line, and uh, we'll get you in the draw. No worries at all. Hey, okay, boy. Thanks, Thank mate. You guys. Good on no you. No worries, mate. Hey, he's a good fellow. What isn't a he? good bass. Oh, we didn't yeah. ask him what vape he smoked. Oh, uh, sound like he was still on the analogs to me. Yeah, yeah. He was on the rollies. Yeah, probs. Yeah. Here's Aerosmith. The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue, and Keezy. Oh, yes, indeed. Smashing Pumpkins here on the Radio Hodaki Big Show this Thursday afternoon, nine minutes past five o'clock. Now, yesterday, if you were listening to the show, you'll recall the fact that uh, we put the idea out there, didn't we, Mogi, of uh, the Big Show OnlyFans page. That's right. Uh, we put it to the people. And what was the result there, Pugs? Talk us through it, mate. Yeah, after a percentage or you after numbers? What was the question first, and then we'll go okay. percentage. The question was, would you subscribe to... Would you subscribe... To a big show only fans. Fair Have enough. You? Yeah, good question. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you want a percentage or numbers? Percentage. Percentage. Fourteen percent of people said no. Yes. Which leaves eighty-six percent. Ninety-six percent. That's pretty good. Saying that, yes. That's pretty emphatic, actually. That's good. Um, ninety-six percent. That's bloody good. So ninety-six percent times five dollars a month. It's a lot. Yeah. Times, times, what was it, 280,000 listeners. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Per hour. Per hour, 12 hours a week. God. 
When I say it out loud like that, it just feels... Yeah, it's about a million bucks each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A day. What we need to know then, since it seems like we are going to do an OnlyFans page, is what you want to see on it. Yeah. I mean, because there's so many things we could be doing on it. Yep. Um, so you've got to let us know on 3483 just the sort of stuff you want us to run with. I'm pretty open. And actually, if we could run a poll on this as well on the old Instagram there, what do you want to see on oh, OnlyFans? Yeah. Option A, filth. Mm. Option B, filth. Can we have C for poetry? No poetry. No, no poetry. No poetry. No poetry. Don't do that Why don't we do clean content and wow. filth content? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. We'll run a poll on that, and then I think once we get that result back, we just lock her in. What do you I reckon? I think so. Well, a lot of people are telling us we should be getting on the old tickety, tickety, tickety talk. Yeah. They're saying that's the next big thing. You've got to be on there if you're going to be any kind of success at all. But I dispute that. I think OnlyFans. Well, I was actually told the place to be at the moment is Grinder. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so maybe we should get up. We should get a well. We had a some, big show grinder page. Yep, we had somebody yesterday text in and say they wanted to see three C's and B's uh, bumper to bumper. Yes, that's right. And they I did think too. anywhere you can put your C and B bumper to bumper, it's a good place to be. Okay. Hey, are you into doing that? By the way, C's and B's and bumper to bumper, bumper, bumper to bumper, yeah, 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 yeah. bumper to bumper. Yeah, you into that, Pugs? Well, you need three, man. Got a rubber arm with that sort of thing. I'll yeah. try anything once. Yeah, yeah, go good crowd, on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, good on you. So uh, you'll put that up on the Insta later on, will you, Pugs? Yeah. Yeah, great stuff. Hey, coming up, we're going to speak to our resident comedian, the one and only Brendan Lovegrove. He's going to have the joke of the week for Yeah, us. yeah. So good. <clears throat> Sorry, I just choked on my uh, own phlegm then. Here's the Black Keys. Surgeons keep our hearts beating. They do the amazing, help save lives, and so can you. Your CSL Plasma donation can help create 24 critical life-saving medicines that can give Grandpa the chance for his heart to swell when he meets his new grandson or give a bride the chance for her heart to skip a beat on her wedding day. Every plasma donation helps more than you know. Do the amazing. Help save lives. Donate today at your local CSL Plasma Center and be rewarded for your generosity. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. It's Tool Chat. Eep, eep, eep. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> screwdriver, screwdriver. With Jason Mike. You mad bass, it's a tool chat with Jason Mike, and uh, this is basically uh, the segment in the show. Uh, we know we've got a lot of your tradey bastards out there, and you, you know, you love to talk tools, and no one knows more about tools than old Monogio and Hoodie J, and so yeah. you get <coughs> you get to choose the uh, the tool in question today. We're going, and how can you not? I can't believe we haven't covered this off, Mogi. Uh, the old uh, wheelbarrow, mate. Yeah, mate. The old wheelbarrow on the site there. Bloody wheelbarrow is a bloody absolute ripper, mate. See, uh, you know, I wake up in the morning, I swing my bloody legs over the side of the bed, I reach over to the old bedside table there, which is made out of an empty crate of beer bottles, you know what I'm saying? I spark myself up a bloody rolly there. <coughs> And I reach into my bloody wheelbarrow that's full of ice and beers and crack when I open, she's ready to go. And then I walk out the door with my bloody wheelbarrow there and I take it out the back door to the old bloody ute there and I've got the ramp ready to go and I wheel it up onto the back of the ute and I drive my ute to bloody work and then I take the bloody uh, uh, the old wheelbarrow there and I take it back down the ramp. Then I've got my beers all ready to go all bloody day, you're beautiful. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about there, mate. And, uh, you know, I recall when I first started, uh, you know, with the carpentry and all that sort of character. Yeah. 
you know, I, I lived on the side, mate, and the old wheelbarrow was my futon bed. Uh, just bring the old pillow in there. <laughs> I just bring the old pillow in there, mate, and uh, smash the beersies after hammering and nailing and yeah. cutting shit, and yeah. uh, and I'd, 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 I'd scoop my ass in that old wheelbarrow, put the pillow down there, have another couple of beersies, yeah. about twenty durries, and nod off, and then wake up in the morning, <laughs> get out of there, have a durry and a couple of beersies, yeah. and uh, get the put the pillow away, and. Uh, you know, put the beersies in the old wheelbarrow and get get stuck into the day, mate. Yeah, mate, I remember when I uh, finally got away from my old bloody boss, bastard that he was, and decided to get on me own there. And, yeah, you know, I got my bloody apprentice Jade on on there, the useless bloody bastard. I thought to myself, I've been working long enough, man. I'll get Jade to do all the bloody building. And I just get massively steamed off my head and get old Jade in there, put me in the bloody wheelbarrow and get me home at the end of every day. That was Monday through Friday, and don't forget about bloody Saturday, mate. Look, you make a bloody good point, mate, and uh, there's nothing like getting the young fellas with their bloody, bloody popsicle, bloody vapes going and stuff. Uh, I did the same thing, mate, with those little smarmy bastards Sons there. Sons of bitches, little their, bastards. Their long Useless shorts and their bloody... Their Sookie la la little crybabies, <laughs> aren't they? And, you know, I'd get them to wheel me around. I'd just sit, yeah. in, the, I'd sit in the bathroom with my pillow there and get them to wheel me around. I'd be shouting out, Jamie, you lazy bastard, get out of it! You know, and then you just, you know, yeah. and then you just have a little bit of a kip in the afternoon there in the sun after a few yeah, beers. Yeah, a few beers. I'd get them to take me over to the old portaloo there and all that sort of carry on. And, uh, you know, and if old Jane give me a little bit of lip, I'd give him the old da doos, da doos, da doos. And I'd put him in the bloody wheelbarrow there and I'd put him out, uh, take him down to the landfill there and I'd tip him in the bloody landfill. Yeah, totally, mate. You know, just on that, by the way, you know. They were really pissing me off. I'd cool one out in the wheelbarrow and get yeah. them to take it to the dunny, you know what I mean, and clean the bastard up, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. You know, it's like when you're feeling a bit hungover and you've been smoking the dairy. You feel a bit like shit. I don't want to walk the way to the bloody long job. I just drop one in the wheelbarrow and get old Jay to clean it up. Clean it up, you useless son of a bastard! Clean it up! 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 The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Oh, yes, indeed. Red Hot Chili Peppers there on the Radio Hodaki Big Show this Thursday evening. The time is exactly 5.41. That's so true, man. Hey, you know how I've been uh, I've been telling you about my neighbour, yeah. the woman next door, and how she's just been a real... Agatha. Yeah, Agatha, mate. Pain in the ass. She's one of those people, Minogi, that just is forever complaining. Yeah, right. Is forever... Finding fault with everything you do. You know? She was saying that she started complaining to you because you didn't have a wheelchair ramp when she came over to visit you. Yeah. I didn't know she was coming. You know what I'm saying? Then she's like, Can you not mow the lawns while I'm trying to sleep? Sure. No. I'll mow the lawns whenever I want to. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's 2.30 in the morning. It's if, my prerogative. It's my lawn. Can you put some pants on when you're going to collect the mail? Oh, mate, seriously, you would not believe the stink she kicked up when I was backing one out in the lawn totally nude. And she was like, oh, you know, this is... I'm trying to... She was sitting was on the Was that front, your front lawn or the verge on the footpath there? Wow, it was the boom. Yeah. You know what I mean? And she was looking... You know those people that pull their curtains back a little bit? They just have a little geese. They have a little geese, and, you know, and there oh, I am straining hello. away, straining Nosy away. Neighbor. And she's like, yeah, you know, it's, I'm just having my, my bloody lunch here, my <laughs> <coughs> toast and tea, what have you. I don't need that sort of carry-on. Can you not be... Sa- can you close the curtains when you make love? You know what I mean? It's like... Curtains? What curtains? Exactly. Exactly. And it's just... And so I thought, you know, I've had enough of this. I'm going to... I'm going to give Agatha her comeuppance. Oh, yeah? You know, you know what I Give her a did? bit of what for? Yeah, what for, mate? A bit of payback. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, not that. Yeah, nah. <laughs> nah, not yet. Um, <laughs> and she's like... I'm thinking to myself... Practical How joke. Can, yeah, practical yeah, joke. Yeah, good you know on I you, did, man. Mate? I ordered about a grand's worth of Burger King oh. and got it sent to her house. Because <laughs> 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 it's just her oh. there, you know what I mean? And I saw the, du- and I saw the dude oh. bringing it. It was like a little minivan. And he was just like, seriously, 
Seriously, it was just bag after bag of whoppers and fries and just the absolute works. And she was like totally bewildered and yeah. sort of shaking in her chair there. And it was just like, yeah, boy, do 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah she'd be going. She couldn't eat all that. <laughs> no, totally. Mind you, knowing her and her age, she probably froze half of it. You know what I mean? Put it in bags for ladies. Yeah. For treats for ladies. A thousand but, bucks. Yeah. Well, that's expensive, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. Well, that got it good, good on you, man. Mm. Yeah. Um, who are you paying for that, BK? <laughs> what do you mean? So you've gone on Uber Eats. The yeah, app yeah, there. Yeah. I was at Uber Eats. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can yeah. only assume. Yeah, yeah. Uber Eats. And so good, eh? And because I when I put the order in, they're like, "How much?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like, "You, you do realise that's a grand?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do do. So you knew it was going to be a grand. And yeah, yeah. And uh, away she goes there, punks. in your face, Agatha. <laughs> yeah. And then I just weed on the fence while she was sort of trying to deal with it. You know what I mean? Do do, shorty J, shorty J one, Agatha Zippo, <laughs> zilch. Zero pugs, zero, my friend, zero. A thousand dollars. Yeah, you've spent to prank your neighbour. No, she has to pay for it when it turns up, man. Yeah, yeah. Go wake up, man. Have you used Uber Eats before? <sighs> yes, pugs, yeah, okay. Uber Eats. So right, there's yeah. the there's the thousand dollar bill to chuck on there too, and I know she's on the pension too because I go through her mail and that, and she's. Uh, She's under the wire, so sort that one out, Agatha. You're saying she's on the bones of her ass. Yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Totally, mate. (sighs) (laughs) The Hodaki Big Show podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. Someone just asked a question. Minogi, where's Keezy? Oh, yeah. Uh, the last sighting we had of Keezy, I believe, was Lush Entertainment in Christchurch, about 3.30 Oh, no, a. no, no. no. Somebody oh, no, saw, him, been somebody saw him yesterday and they were, uh, we, what was he doing? He was being denied service at a bottle of... Oh, yes, correct. ...down in Christchurch. And then today we had that one come through, of course, said um, that he was uh, passed out cold in the... Uh, in the drive through of a Burger King down there in Christchurch. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I'm i getting more and more concerned, actually, on that front about our payments, to yeah, be honest with I you. Know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because have you got your travel details yet? Because nah. it's a big wedding, brother. Yeah, well, it's on Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. Uh, yeah. I've been checking my Air New Zealand app and everything, and there's nothing in there. No. Um, I've e- I, mean, I mean, I must have emailed them 50 times. The thing about it is, man, like, to the lay person... It almost looks like we haven't been invited. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, surely that's not the go. Has a, 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 absolutely. Has a wedding planner or anybody got in touch with you? We are the wedding, wedding, planner. we are the oh, wedding you're the wedding planners. planners. Yeah, 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 totally. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, is anybody I mean, from... I, I would have thought we would have been down there by now, actually, and just broadcasting yeah. from Christchurch. Yeah. But, um... I don't know, mate. Hey, but anyway, this time of the night, uh, 5.54, we'd love to know what people are having for tea... Uh, you said off air there, um, Pugs, another foul brew from your, your mother-in-law last night. You said night. it's like she's, um, it's like she's deliberately, tr- like, it's so bad. It's like she's trying to make you puke. Or leave. Yeah, or get out of her house. At this point, I probably wouldn't blame her right, for trying okay. to make well, me leave after the comments that I've sort of, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. that have manifested themselves. Yeah. They don't manifest themselves. It was all you. It was all you that actually appeared. did it. What was it yeah. for dinner last well, night? Yeah, what had? was it? We had takeaways last night, actually. Oh, really? Well, I had takeaways because I couldn't really go back to the house. Yeah. And because you were saying her food's so foul. And so yeah. you've just gone to sneaky takeaways, Pugs. What did you have, Minogi? Uh, I can't remember, man. No, right. Honestly. You just, you just, I understand. I um, understand. It was delicious, huh? Yeah, yeah. I had a full vegetarian last night. Tomato uh, salad, beautiful from the Tomato garden. Tomato salad? Cool, yeah. What else? And and basil and something. Basil? You know, you know that sort of uh, 
crumbly sort of not feta, but it's an Italian that ball. Was, oh, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was and, a porcini. And yes, and co- and courgettes cut lengthways and crumbed and cheese. Beautiful, mate. Yeah. And stuffed mushrooms. I actually tuned out about thirty seconds. Yeah, ago. I could tell by your eyes. Hey, but most importantly, we want to know what you're having for tea in New Zealand. Text us three four eight three. We'll get into that after six. And if you do text in, you could win some BK vouchers. Beautiful. The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Kesey. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. You're welcome back, you mad bastards. Great to have your company this uh, Thursday evening, two minutes past six o'clock. She's changing, isn't she, Mogi? The old weather the out old there. The old weather, yeah. I can feel it in my testicles and the fine hairs on my testicles. Definite weather bomb coming. Well, the, our, our good friends, all the backbones down south, won't know what the hell we're talking about because yes. they've had nothing but sunshine Sun, for I the know. entire summer. And it's a weird thing about me, and I know that you, well, we'll see if you are the same. Um, you know, if it's raining where I am, I want it to be raining everywhere. everywhere. I agree. Yeah. If it's sunny where I am, I want it to be raining everywhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, mate. <laughs> yeah, I am exactly like that. What are people eating, pugs? Uh, where they haven't got a name, but they're having a roast for their dad Chris's birthday. Oh, my God. Oh, it's yeah. Marge's birthday today as oh, well. Oh, it's your mum. Yeah, yeah mum's yeah. birthday today. How's she going? Yeah, she's going pretty good. Yeah, What's she yeah. having for tea? Um, well, she might be having a roast. I wonder if she's related to Chris because they've got the same birthday. Yeah, maybe. They might mate. have been separated at birth. I wonder if he's a massive freak giant as well. Because you don't know this about um, Mogi's mum there, Pugs. She's a giant. Yeah. How, how big? 7'2". 7'2", seven two. Seven two, seven yeah. 7'2", two. Yeah. Yeah. Two, yeah. That's oh, in flat. That's I, in the shade. I uh, bumped into her a little while back, and we had a good old chat on the island there, yeah. and we had a, we probably talked for 45 minutes. My neck was rooted afterwards, I yeah. tell you, just, you know, looking up there. Yeah. Oh, uh, right. But she you can see right up her snout as well. Totally. What is she... <laughs> did? What was your mum's go-to? When you were kids, what what was your sort of stand? She'd probably give us a smack in the head. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice. What else are they running with there, pugs? <laughs> uh, some, hey guys, for dinner I brought three Big Ben pies from the garage, stacked them up on top of each other, added extra cheese slices in between, and on top, chuck in the oven for five minutes on high, topped with tomato sauce. Beautiful. Not bad. Really. Let good. me just say, I heard about this today. I heard about this. You know those loaves of bread which are all crust? You know, you buy them unsliced as a whole loaf? Yes. You take the top off of that, you empty out all the bread, you put three pies in there, and you fill it up with Fanta. That is something that somebody told me today that that was a meal that people eat at at high school. At high school. Sounds so good. Isn't man. that unreal? The only thing the only thing I would say is I'd chuck a bit of cheese on there. Oh, a bit of cheese, yeah. Yeah, yeah you yeah, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, is that um, orange Fanta? Oh, to but me, there is only one. There kind is of only fan one kind of oh, fan okay, right. yeah. um, oh. Hey, now listen. Maybe you're in the scenario where you just can't be asked cooking, and or and you wanted or. to treat yourself and the family, and you just want to go out and get some BK. If that's you, give us a call right now on 0800 Hodaki, and we'll sort you out some burger vouchers. How does that sound, eh? Mm-hmm. Hey. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh I'll tell you what, man. June. Down, down. Bring a ding a doo. Oh, wait, hundred Hodaki. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Midnight Oil there on the radio. Hodaki uh, Big Show this Thursday evening. Let's go to the phone lines, which are going crazy as uh, usual. AJ, you mad bastard. How's life? Good day, mate. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, hey. You weren't expecting that, were you, AJ? Huh, what was that? Aye. You weren't expecting us to say good day, were you? Oh, no, I feel like I call most days that you guys never pick up. Oh, big fan of old AJ. Yeah, yeah we're a big fan, mate. Where are you yeah. calling from, man? Uh, big Auckland City, mate. Yeah, good on you, what, AJ. What flavour vape are you running, man? Oh, unfortunately, I'm all au naturel. Oh, you're on the darts? <laughs> yeah, mate. Good on you, mate. <laughs> hey, AJ, if we walked into your house tonight and opened up your fridge, what are we looking at? I tell you what we're looking at. We're looking at abandonment from my missus. She usually makes me dinner, but she's decided to go over to the folks and said, hey, oh. you stay at home and service those cars, eh? Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. So I'm picking, AJ, you'd like some BK vouchers? Oh, I'd be delighted, mate. Good on you, man. Will you stay on the line and uh, we'll get those to you. Tom, you mad bastard. How's life? Oh, g'day, mate. You good, Tom? 
Yeah, I'm good, mate. Yeah, where, whereabouts are you? No, I've just got home. Yeah, nice. Sweet, man. Where's yeah, your yeah. home? Where's my home? Yeah. Old City of Sales. City of Sales. What street? Uh, Hair Road, mate. Hair oh, Road. Oh, mint. What number? Um, ooh, don't know about that one. <laughs> what do you do for a crust, Tom? Uh, operations manager. What flavour vape are you running? <laughs> Your favourite, the cherry. Ah, backbone! <laughs> hey, what's for tea tonight, Tom? Um, could be a Big Ben's pie, I think. Oh, yeah. God. I tell you what, our listeners love the pies, they love don't a pie. they? Not only do they love a pie, they love a, a pretty bottom ender. It's a bit of a bottom ender, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, I'll tell you, you what. We'll, we'll take you up a couple of notches and give you some BK vouchers. How does that sound, Tom? That sounds perfect. Cheers, boys. Good, good on, on you, mate. mate. You stay on the line and we'll sort you out just like that. Couple of backbones there. Yeah, massive backbones. Yeah. So good. So hey, good. Hey, hey. The Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Guns and Roses there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Thursday afternoon. But right now it's time for... What's on the telly with Mike Minogue. Yeah! yeah. I'm just thinking to myself, Minogi, uh, you had your three bottles of rosé, so you probably just were just hanging out in the pool last night, weren't you? Did no, you watch I anything? watched uh, Seinfeld last oh, night. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, started that from episode one again. Good God. Probably my fifth billionth time of watching that. Yes. Shit, it's good, man. When you just need a little, because it's like, oh, I don't want to watch an hour of anything, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's easy and it's funny, and so you end up maybe watching three of those. We did two. Uh, but, yeah, bloody good. So first two eps. Love it. How many did they do in the end, actually? Because they must have done about 500 yeah, seasons, didn't they? Seven seasons. Seven seasons, yeah. yeah. Well, I watched the end of the episode. And it of- does get pretty shit. Like, the first, I think, four are good. Then I think Larry David leaves for a couple of seasons. It might be nine seasons. And then who created it and wrote it was Seinfeld. He yes. leaves, and it just goes to absolute garbage. Then he comes back and it gets better and then it gets really stupid. What's Larry David's one called? Curb Your Enthusiasm. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed I that, like one. that one. I, yeah, I quite enjoyed it. that. Oh, it's, it's good. Yeah. It's funny. Uh, Tom Scott actually... I find actually, it it's pretty excruciating though, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of those it's, ones. Uh, yeah. it's, it's where you're going, oh God. Yeah, but I actually kind of like that. Yeah. Um, I finished off the episode of Your Honour last night, but as I said yesterday, you've ruined it for me. Yeah. And I was effing and jeffing all over the place. Effing and jeffing at me. No, not at you. At, at, at the television. Yeah. Um, just going, oh, that, that doesn't even make sense. Yeah. Um, and like you, I'd, I'd made a move on my wife last night as well. And, right. Uh, she was already in a bad mood with me, and me effing and jeffing about the program didn't help. No, no. Um, so can I just say the hoodie Jay slept in the spare room last oh, night? You lucky um, bastard. That's yeah, the was, dream, oh, man. Oh, it was a good sleep, man. Oh. It was a really good sleep. What did you watch, Pugs? <laughs> oh, and I watched a bit of in there, in there. Tennis. Right. No porn? No, not porn. Okay. I don't think I watched any porn. I oh, maybe in the spare room. I watched Love Island again, which is basically porn. Uh. Something about that chair, eh? Oh, Keezy's chair. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. infected. His essence remains. What? You're not. You're not going to turn into another Keezy, are you, pugs? I'm endeavouring not to actually. Yeah, I'm yeah. Doing my best, yeah. Because I've noticed you've been having a few beersies during the show too. That's just been creeping in there. I and did de- have a soda-related. And I noticed that when beverage. I went, went to the toilets before you were watching something in the uh, the old bog there. Yeah, some seventies funk music. Oh, was it? reverberating. Yeah, yeah. yeah, good stuff, mate. <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. Well, there you go. She's all over Rover for your Thursday night. Hey, Minogi. Yeah, babe. You're looking forward to the first Throbber tomorrow? Yep. Have you got your sorted pugs? I've got an idea. Yeah. Got an idea. I haven't got one. Are you on? No idea. No, neither. Um, 
Oh, come on. I bet you've got a list. I bet you sat over Christmas compiling a massive oh, list. Oh, you're thinking of Keezy. No, oh, he's no, not Keezy here. Oh, no, does do that, yeah, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Big wooden, wooden spooner last year, old yeah, Keezy. Yeah, that's right. No, I'm excited about, excited about a throbber. It's been weird not having it. Yeah. Mm. It has been weird not having it. I'm looking forward to getting a sort of taste of your musical influences there, Pugs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it should be fun. I'm yeah. thinking sort of disco kind ah. of... It's a compliment. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. take that. Dance, maybe a bit of unst. There Actually, might be an unst or two. Yeah, maybe I'll get a bit of unst in tomorrow. Hey, listen, okay. it's been an absolute pleasure having your company this Thursday evening. We'll be back same time, same place. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for the first robber of the year. Woodhouse brings you the experts and insight to keep your vehicle road ready. From regular maintenance to larger issues, our team of service advisors and brand certified techs have the solutions to get you and your vehicle back on the road. Plus, you can enjoy convenience of scheduling online, amenities like pickup and delivery, and for quick fixes, comfortable lounges within our dealerships. Bringing you more every time since 1975. Service with Woodhouse.